This is Force of Thirteen with a further update on how it can Michael, which is now a category four system. Remains in effect and a tropical storm watch remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, coastal Hillsborough, coastal Manatee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm watch remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, coastal Hernando and coastal Pasco. The current time is 5.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The tropical weather outlook issued by the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Issued at 1.18 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Hurricane Michael, located over the eastern Gulf of Mexico, on recently upgraded Hurricane Leslie, located over the central Atlantic Ocean, and on Tropical Storm Nadine, located over the eastern tropical Atlantic Ocean. An area of low pressure is expected to develop over the west central Caribbean Sea in a few days. Environmental conditions are expected to support gradual development over the weekend and early next week while the system moves slowly westward. Formation chance through 48 hours, low, near 0%. Formation chance through 5 days, medium, 40%. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.56 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, over 0600 UTC, the center of Hurricane Michael was located near latitude 27.7 north, latitude 86.6 west. Michael is moving toward the north near 12 miles an hour 19 kilometers per hour. A northward motion is expected this morning, followed by a northeastward motion later today and Thursday. On the forecast track, the center of Michael will move across the northeastern Gulf of Mexico this morning. The center of Michael's eye is then expected to move inland over the Florida Panhandle or Florida Big Bend area later today, move northeastward across the southeastern United States tonight and Thursday, and then move off the mid-Atlantic coast away from the United States on Friday. Data from Air Force Reserve and NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicate that maximum sustained winds have increased to near 130 miles an hour to 110 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Michael is now a Category 4 hurricane. A tropical storm watch remains in effect for the following counties, in Florida, inland Hernando, inland Hillsborough and inland Pasco. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.56 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, over 0600 UTC, the center of Hurricane Michael was located near latitude 27.7 north, latitude 86.6 west. Michael is moving toward the north near 12 miles an hour, 19 kilometers per hour. Now that's some of the information that is being uh, broadcasted. Tropical storm a warning is now in effect for the South Santee River, South Carolina, the Surf City, North Carolina. The storm surge watch has been discontinued. Rest of the Akaloosa, Walton County Line, Florida. Storm surge warning is in effect for the Akaloosa, uh, Walton County Line, Florida to the Ankalati River, Florida. Apology for the pronunciation. The same mention River, Florida to Anna Marie Island, Florida, including Tampa Bay. Hurricane warning is in place for the Alabama Florida border to Swanee River, Florida. Tropical storm warning is in effect. And other... And a tropical storm watch is also in a place. The hurricane uh, is likely to further intensify uh, today. Uh, whether it will uh, reach a mid-range uh, cat fall remains to be seen. We will be uh, continuing uh, coverage, including updates on this severe system. 
And here's a look at various models and their tracks. And minimum central pressure is down around 943 millibars. The serious outflow associated with Michael has improved over the last several hours with the outflow flying flowing into an upper level low to the southeast and along the east side of a large mid latitude trough to the west. Michael is embedded in the flow between a large mid to upper level ridge over the western Atlantic, northeastern United States. The aforementioned trough across the central United States. These features should cause the hurricane to turn north northeast during the next 12 hours or so, uh, followed by a turn towards the northeast and a significant increase in forward speed. Near the end of the forecast period, Michael, all its remnants should turn more eastward. The forecast track calls for the eye to make landfall in the Florida Panhandle at about the 12 hour point, followed by a northeastward motion across the southeastern United States between 40, 12 and 48 hours. The forecast guidance remains tightly clustered. The new forecast track is very close to the previous track and the various consensus model through 72 hours. Additional strengthening is expected before landfall as Michael remains over warm water and in an environment of low to moderate vertical wind shear after landfall. He's expected to steadily weaken as it crosses the southeastern United States. Extra tropical transition is expected to begin while Michael is over land. This should be completed just after the 48 hour point. The cyclone should re-intensify due to baroclinic forcing as it moves rapidly northeast over the North Atlantic. The new intensity forecast has been nudged upward at the landfall time based on the current trends. And that's the uh, information. Now we have a look at a couple of uh, models. It's the HWRF and the HWR HMON, I think that I've got that one right. And we have a look at another satellite imagery of the life of the hurricane up to a few hours ago. Life threatening storm surge remains a key uh, part of the National Hurricane Center's latest advisory. Florida Panhandle began Nature Coast. And it's, it's the worst storm surge is expected between the Tyndall Air Force Base and Keaton Beach, where 9 to 13 feet of inundation is possible. And heavy rainfall and intense wind is also in the latest advisory. Tropical storm conditions will most likely affect portions of the southeast U.S. coast from northeast Florida through North Carolina. Tropical storm watches or warnings are in effect for those areas. And as mentioned, Force 13 will continue to bring the latest uh, information. And what does one say about the system when viewing this satellite imagery and what's been another busy day bye for now you can follow Force 13's outlets the website force13.com our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13 on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool 13, at extension 9094.